Hey guys, Steve Lav here. Um, on this one here, second day at the uh, dust bowl job. Uh, that air conditioning job I'm doing for that lady up, up in the attic with all that blown in insulation. Uh, what I did today was uh, I ran all the flex lines, supply and return plenum. Uh, hooked all that up in the attic. Uh, ran the refrigerant lines down the closet and out to the condensing unit. And it's whipped upstairs to the air handler. Uh, I'll have to tie that in tomorrow. We'll tie in the refrigerant lines and pull a vacuum on it. Uh, and run the... Um, the condensate lines. I'm gonna run a condensate line and I'm also gonna run a line from the pan just dumping into the cellar. So if we have an overflow problem, uh, she'll see you know water dripping into the cellar on a separate line. And I'm also gonna put a uh, you know one of them overflow switches on there as a backup. So but that's it. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and I'll I'll finish it up tomorrow. But I probably won't be able to charge it um, until next week sometime. It hasn't been that warm. It's only been like 50 degrees here. I mean, the electrician's not going to come till next week anyway to wire it. So there'll probably be uh, four parts to it. And, uh, you know, when I charge it and stuff, I'll do, I'll, I'll do the, the, fe the finale on it. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, here's my other 12 by 12 by 10 return box. I'm going to cut, the, uh, cut it down to fit. I'll put the wood in there and then screw it in, put the register in. motorcycle strap to it to pull it up. <clears throat> I took the ECM motor out to get it up here. What we got here is we've got a metal pan. It's got a tapping on that end over there. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll trap the uh, the A-coil. Put the trap in the pan here. So if it ever freezes, it'll drip into the pan. Up north here, we gotta worry about that. I'll put an overflow switch on it. And what I'll do is, um, I'll run the drain down. I made that hole big enough when I brought my refrigerant lines up. I wrapped them around. I'll make my connections later, but I got enough here. And I'm gonna, uh, bring one line for the condensate one line for the pan, I'll just drop it into the basement, so if the pan ever leaks, you'll, you'll, you'll see it in the basement, and I'll leave one other one for the electrician for a chase. So I'll have three PVC lines going down there, through that closet area. I got this thing up on the foam, this thing up on the foam blocks. Nice rigid pan. It's got runners, it's made for this unit. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put this fan back together here, and uh, I'll start putting my supply and return together. I wanted to get that pipe up before I put my uh, supply in, and then it would have might have been in the way. So. refrigerant lines put a sweep here I'm gonna put a couple of hangers on it ran it right along that beam and I did another sweep here jumped up in this bay and right out to the condensing unit no solid joints in the house that's the way to go 50 foot line set And on the drain, 
I'll come down with a drain. I'll come down with a pipe from the overflow pan, and that'll just dump right into the cellar here. If there's a problem, she'll walk downstairs, she'll see water on the floor, she knows there's a problem. But I'm gonna have safeties on that, so that should never happen. And I'll also run another three quarter line for the electrician to run his wire up. Right over here. I could tie into this drain here. Either that is a sub pump right there, I could drain into the sub pump. I might just drain into the sub pump right there. Run my line over, right into that pump. Go right there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, dark. There is a uh, sub pump there. I'll just drain it right into that. Let me show you outside. Let's come out right here. I've got my condenser unit you know, right here. I'll just sweep it right down. Solder it right up. It's a little little scroll compressor, Copeland scroll. It's a rud. Little rud, rud unit here. I can move it out, do what I gotta do, but. Thirteen seal. Give myself plenty of room here. The access ports on this side, I got plenty of room. I'll probably have like 18 inches, so that'd be good. It's a good little spot for it. Once I'm done, I'll seal up that Goodwood silicone. Uh, electrician's probably still gonna run his wire out here yet. I'm not sure how he's gonna do it, but I gotta wait before I seal it. Three plastic lines, my refrigerant lines. One's gonna be for electrical, one's gonna be for the pan, one's gonna be for the air handler. Now the electrical one, I put yellow tape on the top and the bottom so we can know which one it is. This one here will just dump in at a, dump in at a basement. It'll be So if this gets any water in the pan, she'll notice it on the floor and this one will tie in to get rid of the condensate. That's how I'm gonna do it. I made my, toe, my hole nice and tight. I should do it. She could box this in with wood later if she wants. That's up to her. Only a closet. All right, I got my supply and return plumb here. I gotta cut these boxes in, so I'll do it down here. And I got all my flex. I gotta drag that up into the job from hell. What I'll kind of do is I'll lay out my uh, my supply and return here, and um, depends on you know if I want a little bit more air in one area than the other, I'll come off the end. You know, obviously the air goes passes through the air handle, hits the hits the end of the plenum for static pressure, builds up static pressure. So the closer you are to the end, you'll get a little bit more flow out of that. So that's how I'll do it, and then I'll you know I'll mark them all on the. Mark them all, and then I'll uh, I'll cut them out with my snips. I got three on this side and three on the other side. I got the mark top here, and um, the return I got to cut a 16 and a 10 into that return. But what I'll do is um, I'll cut these all out here, bring it up, screw it onto the air handle, and then I'll screw these on. It makes it a little easier to do it down here. If it was a regular, you know, um, attic didn't have all that blown in insulation it might be different alright guys I measured it I was able to put all my supplies on down here and I'll be able to get it up the uh, the chase it's not a big deal so once I get it up there I'll fasten fasten it in run my ducts Bit of supply, it's aligned. I'm gonna do the return next. The return's lined also. Sixteen and a ten. Alright guys, what I do is I fold my insulation back on my boot, I slide the flex on, I put a couple of three screws on the black liner, 
and I wrap the outer liner with duct tape and I put three more screws. There ain't no, no way that could blow off. And I'll uh, pick my thing. Let's screw it back up over here. <laughs> I gotta get my stapler and staple it back, but that's it right there. That's how I do my flex. I might even put some tape around it and staple it. Alright, you can see I got a return right there. That's the big return. It's kind of like at the end of the hallway over to the side a little bit. Because of that main beam, I couldn't put it in the middle. And I got another 12 by 12 box there at the end of the hallway. And it returns 10 inch. It return runs down and wraps around into the, uh, the 10 inch. I gotta do the 16 next. You can see it in the back there. That's gonna come off the back of the return, go out, and then loop back and tie in. On the returns, I like to keep them long. It keeps the system quiet. The longer the return, the quiet the system will be. So I waited to, I, I did an eight inch over there. An eight inch way over there. I want, I tied them in before I wrap this return in because once this return's wrapped in, it's gonna be tough, I'll have to walk all the way around it. I'm trying to keep my, my access open as much as I can. And uh, I gotta do these three left, these three at the end. Um, kind of work my way out here as I'm putting stuff together I think about it and do the stuff that's gonna be hardest to get to first so once I do this um I did the 10 inch return now I could do this 16 and I'll be done with the return part Alright guys, I got the supply, the side's all tied in here, 8 inch supply over there for the living room, 6 inch for the den, another 8 inch for the master bathroom, bedroom, an 8 inch for the workout room over there, a little 6 inch for the bathroom over there, and then I got another 8 inch for the kitchen. And here's the 10 inch return and the 16 inch return over there. There's a respirator I've been wearing. If not, I would have been dead. But I gotta come back tomorrow, run the refrigerant lines. The refrigerant lines are right there. I just have to tie them in. See them hanging? I just got them taped up and I'll swoop that right in. I didn't want to tie any of that in. That would have interfered with you know me moving back and forth. And then I gotta do the condensate drain tomorrow. Tie the condensing unit in the refrigerant lines. I got three lines coming up. One for the electrician, one for my drain pan, 
and one for my condensate line. And I will put, put an overflow switch on that drain pan also. I taped up, you know, all the supply and the return the best I could. You see a motor, X13 motor in there. Little rud, little rud unit. Uh, I'll do it. I'm gonna get some foam and, and spray around that return, um, so no can't suck any air in. Ralph had mentioned that, and I'm gonna. That's a good idea. I got some of that spray foam. I'm gonna do both returns, and then I'll cover it up with insulation after I'm done with the foam. I didn't wrap those because it's going to get covered with this insulation anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. The supplies I definitely want to wrap. But that's it. I just have to pick up and... It would have been nice to run all duck work up here, but not in this, not in this fucking job. Dust bowl. Blown in insulation. Flipping like a dust bowl up here. Almost done. Thank God.